Hi, I'm Joe from Clinic Sense, and I'm here to talk to you about the different types of questions that are available in forms and treatment notes inside of Clinic Sense. We're going to look at 16 different types of questions, 15 of which are available inside of forms, and all 16 of which are available inside of treatment notes. So let's jump on in. The first type of question is short answer. You get the option to customize the title of the short answer, and when it comes out at the end product, it looks a little bit like this, a field where you can enter in a short amount of text. The next type of question is the long answer question. It's similar to the short answer, but you get a lot more space to answer the question. It'll look a little bit like this, where you get a big block where you can enter your text, as well as some styling options. After that, we have the multiple choice question. Now with a multiple choice question, you can add multiple different choices. You can add a question, you can move them around, and if you want, you can even delete them. You can also display multiple choice questions as a dropdown. You can allow more than one option to be selected, and you can even add an other option where whoever's filling out the form can specify what other means. If we take a look at that in the final product, you'll see that this is the sort of basic multiple choice question where you get a few different radio buttons to select from. After we look at multiple choice questions, we can go down and have a look at date type questions. Now date type questions are pretty self-explanatory. They allow you to pick a date and you can pick either a calendar view or a drop-down view. Again, as with all the rest of these questions, you can customize the title. The end result of the date type question looks a little bit like this. This is the calendar view where you click in and you can pick a specific date. Moving on, let's have a look at the image type question. Here, you can either choose from a gallery to pick the different images you want. You can select multiple images for it or you can even upload your own image there. Again, this looks a little bit different inside the actual product itself with the ability to tag the image. You can even write in the word tag or whatever it is you like here, or draw on the image and say draw a circle around a specific area. Moving on, let's have a look at the range of motion question. Now this one's a little bit hard to see from just the editor, so let's go back and have a look at it, what it seems like in the final product. You can select an area that was treated, say the cervical spine, as well as the amount of motion, say active. That'll open a matrix here for you where you can select various options depending on what the end result was, as well as even select numbers on a pain scale. After the range of motion question, the next type of question is a slider question where you can select a left value, say zero or one, and a right value, say three, five, or 10, and that'll present a slider inside the final product, like this. Going back, let's have a look at the options for the matrix rating scale question. Now this sets up sort of a table for you with rows and columns where you can rank multiple items on a single scale. This scale is no to yes, and this, uh, this question has a set of three different items. So if you're having trouble visualizing that, let's go back. You can see that the matrix comes a little bit like this where we could rate item one as a no, item two as a maybe, and item three as a yes. Moving on, let's have a look at the checkbox questions. Now this is pretty simple sounding. You get a big box here where you can enter in a whole bunch of text as well as style it. And then it asks whoever's filling out the form to check off the box that's right there. And the end result will look a little bit like this. This one has a very short amount of text. However, you can put as much as you like in there. And then again, there's a checkbox to click off. Moving on from there, we have the multiple text inputs. This is very similar to the short answer question, except you can have multiple fields in a single question. Going back again, you'll see what it looks like here where there are three short answer fields all inside the same question. Similar to that is the multiple drop downs question where you get multiple different drop downs you can select. Uh, again, you can put as many options in here as you like. You can add more options, move them, delete them. And as with the ones above, you can say whether or not you want to allow multiple answers or allow other as an answer with a field opened up to allow for more text. Um, but the end product looks a little bit like this, where we could say pick option A here and option F here. All right, from there, we have the file upload question. There's not really much you can do to customize this. And this question type is only available on treatment forms. It's not available on uh, the forms, or sorry, it's available on treatment notes and not available on forms. So if we go to upload file, you see it actually gives us a button. We can click it, it'll open up our computers upload dialog, upload file finder, so that we can then send the file to ClinicSense. From there, we can look at the question type for a signature. You get the, chance, the opportunity to customize the name of the signature, and in the end, it'll look a little bit something like this. Now here, you can either draw in a signature, or if this is a practitioner-facing question, you can click Use Save Signature, and it'll automatically populate the question from the practitioner's profile. After that, we have a similar type question, which is initials. Again, you can customize the title and the final result will look a little bit like this where you need to enter in, say, your initials and it'll show sort of as a signature. 
That brings us to our last two types of questions. Again, neither of them has a large amount of customization to them. You get a header and a description, and let's go back to the final product to have a look at them. The header gives you big block bold text to make something really stand out inside of here, and a description is a larger chunk of text where you can describe something or give more detail. All right, that's it for the types of questions that are available inside of ClinicSense, but we hope this is helpful for you and that you have a great one. Bye-bye.